and that's the post that I plan to use. It was from Billy's Convent. It's probably about 250, 300 years old. Yep, perfect condition. Very, very strong. More, you know, more importantly, it's very, very strong. So the plan is, it's going to pick up this beam here, which supports all of the floor joists above. I've got some patching up to do with the line coming down the wall. Nice to see this going. Now a while ago I did put in a pad stone here. I've just got to make sure that's in line with the underside of that beam. And it's nice and secure. So next with these broken clay tiles we're going to pack out this area down that timber there. Fill it up and that will make that timber nice and secure. That's what I'm meaning to ask you. Have you had a go at doing this? How many people have used lime since you've started watching this channel? I know lots of you have commented, oh I can't wait to try it. Well let us know if you have and how you've got on with it. Okay, that is the patching up done. Now if you squint hard enough, it looks half decent. Uh, it's perfect for what I need. It's just to tie the wall together, you know, make it nice and strong. 
like I say, we've got a stud work wall going in front, insulation between, so it will all be hidden away. Next job is to cut the beam or the post. Any way you call it. More importantly, it is supporting that cross beam there, which is holding the floor joist. So, yeah, it's very important that I've got this in. Now I know that this corner is absolutely 100% secure. So we'll have the stud wall coming this way, running into there, that corner. And likewise, we'll be coming out with another stud work wall. Now I've got to sort out the foundations for that across here. It's going to be a bit of a challenge because it's not very straight. So I'll put this pad stone in, but really I've got to dig that out, put a foundation down. That way the base rail will hold all the timber uprights. And then we'll just pick up the underside, hopefully, if the levels are correct, underneath that beam there. Now in this particular quarter here, this is the entryway section. Goes up to the edge where the stone steps are behind. Thinking about doing something really quite different to that wall there. Don't just want to do a plasterboard wall, you know. That'd be the easy way out. I want something that's gonna sort of show its character, reflect its age, not gonna be too expensive to do. Mm, I'll see what I've got about. I've got a few ideas. And one of the ideas I've got bouncing around in my head is utilising these doors. Now these come out of Billy's Convent. Those of you that don't know who Billy is, is the channel The Peverick's. Now he, he gave me these doors, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you Billy. So I plan to put them to good use. I need one or two of them in my own cottage. One or two of them here, but that leaves me about between four and six. I was thinking about incorporating them in that stud work wall there. I've got that lovely old church, uh, what would we call it? It's a tiny little seat with a fold down. I'll show it to you one day. That's going to go in that area. I've got quite a lot to get in that area with the stairs and just want it to be a cloakroom really. So it flows nice. But on that wall, I want it to yeah, be a, bit, a little bit different. They won't go full height, so I'm thinking about maybe bottom half or top half and then something different on either half. Now I do like the idea, I don't know if you've ever seen it, I've just returned back from the Dordoy and some of the construction there, I've seen it in this area, is a clay tile on edge so you'll see just the edge of it, layered up like that. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. It's a lot of work 
is a lot of work, but it's only a small area. So I've been bouncing that idea around. Yep, it would be in keeping with this place. It's around about the same era, two, three, four hundred years old, so that would work. But that's for another day. So to think about. Okay, it's time for me to go and check on them cats. Hungry. Oh, I haven't forgot ya. Yeah. yeah, meow. Come on. Sometimes they go in two by two, just back to the house. Sometimes they don't, they want to be carried, but yeah, they always jump off. Only a short trip. Okay, that's the kitten safely back indoors. Keep saying kittens, they're not kittens, they're cats now. Right, that is it for this video. I'm going to have a tidy up and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.